Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Multi-Tools and Blades channel. Today we're going to have a look at the Leatherman Piranha and Leatherman Mako Ti. The main function of both of these tools are these little box wrenches in here. We have five stepped metric ones on the inside. I've had limited success using them. And it's not because the wrench itself doesn't grab onto the nut very well. It's mainly to do with the profile and how thin it is. There just isn't enough meat on this to get a good purchase without hurting your hands when you're trying to turn the bolt. The teeth on the wrench though does do a really good job of actually grabbing the bolt. The ends are slightly tapered so that we could use them as either a scraper or as a pry bar. Although well, they're not really sharp so I don't know if they work very well. There's this bottle opener or cap lifter. And this quarter inch driver here fits in either that hole or into the cap lifter. It's just a little bit tough to get out though. Just like this. And I'll be honest, it sort of works. It's last resort kind of thing. There's plenty of other options that work much better than this. My personal opinion of the Prona is it makes a perfect gift for someone that you don't like. There's definitely room for improvements and I believe they've made the Prona too. Like for example if these were a bit more sharper then yeah it could work out. Oh there's one more thing I forgot. Um, it's the box opener on the corner here. It almost feels like it was a bit of an afterthought, but they could have just made it a little bit more pronounced. I don't know, just a normal corner would do, but yeah, I guess you could use it as a box opener or, you know, if it was sharper, maybe a little bit sharper, that would be good. Why, uh, you know, strap cutter. Just, just avoid this one, don't buy it. Alright, onto the Miko. This time it's made out of titanium, you can feel the weight difference. Now these two little spanner things on the corner here, they're for tightening sprockets. So instantly this tells me this is more of a bike kind of tool. It does have the same two quarter inch drivers here, the open and the closed one, part of the cap lifter. But it does share the same kind of leverage problem that I mentioned with the Piranha being that it's quite thin. This one's even thinner than the Piranha. And it's not noticeable, that this also has the five box wrenches inside. These ones here closer to the edge are a lot easier to use than the other ones. I don't know why there's two different sizes there, two different shapes. I think they're the same size. To be honest, I have used it to let the air out of a tire once. I'm not saying that's what it's for, I just that's what I used, so yeah. Yeah, so I keep this one actually in my glove box of my car. It's nice and light, compact, and I use it to fix the kids' scooters when I'm at the skate park. This one in particular is really good for tightening up the wheels. Now just like the Piranha though, I really wouldn't recommend either of these. As in if you're paying money for them. If someone was to give them to you, that's fine. If you get them like 70% off or 80% off, go for it. But other than that, no, nah, just avoid these ones. Uh, there's better tools out there, for that's for sure. But if you're going to pick one of the two, definitely go with the Mako Ti. I think it's a far better tool than the Piranha. Oh, and these little black bits love to rust up, so don't leave them in your toolbox. Well, that wraps up another episode. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave any comments down below if you've got any questions, and I'll catch you all next time. Uh -oh.